Yeah, I'll do. Screw it. Yeah. No, you can't even see because I haven't put the light on. Screw it. Gonna do Strange Love. Strange Love? That's a Depeche Mode track. No, no, Strange Loop. Strange Loop. Strange highs and strange loops. Uh, uh, F3. Hey, let's get going. Uh, things have been hectic, distracting, um, nightmarish, uh, all sorts of bad. Um, first chance I've had to play anything for a while. Um, last thing I played was Chromosome, and that was. What was it a couple of weeks ago now? Yeah. Strange loop. I've never played this. Um, I just saw it on eBay and it was thing really, really cheap from a seller that I trust. And it was a payday treat. I got a few games from The Attic Bug, who seem like nice people. And the stuff that they sell seems to be very good condition. Like, mmm... No dog-eared corners or anything. Ooh, that's like the lo ocean loader, isn't it? Those that style of loading lines. Um, yeah, strange loop. I heard of, never saw it anywhere. Um, not sure I ever saw any Virgin games actually. It's a Virgin game programmed by Gang of Five. Always cool to have a a group name like your band rather than the name, isn't it? Um, and I haven't bothered to look up anything about it. I have had a little look through the instructions, which I know is most unlike me, but, um, yeah, you can't see it. Virgin Games presents Strange Loop, one of a new, new generation of software products as a massive arcade adventure, Strange Loop, we believe presents what, and it goes on like, ooh, is that meant to look like that? I was reading Strange Loop in capitals all the time. It seems to put in bold pink text the words Strange Loop, Game Save, Robot Factory, Robots, Earth Invaded, Destroy Earth, Desperately Hostile, Indestructible Robots, it's not sounding good, is it? 250 Rooms, Control Center, Impenetrable, Heroic Mission to Save the Human Race. Then it says Control Room and Earth is Doomed. Um, from what I can tell from the instructions, you have a spacesuit, and you need to get to a control room. Um, and there are things flying around that puncture your spacesuit, and you can get patches to patch up your spacesuit, and you get laser things to unpatch other people, I suspect. Um, other than that, not a clue, but I just had this funny feeling that this was a good game that just wasn't seen very often. And it was dirt cheap. And it's got a flash load, apparently. We shall see. It's looking a bit flashy, but wrong type of flashy, I think. This isn't going too well, is it? Most of the tape's gone. Uh, quick slurp of tea while I wonder what to do. Chin chin. That looks suspicious like it should be a loading picture as opposed to a pile of garbage, doesn't it? Oh, bugger, I just realised. I've had to all reorganise everything in here because I went to Ikea and bought shelves. I bought some Benno shelves to put my games on instead of having them in boxes or shoved into a desk. And I got one of them up and I put games on it before I'd fitted it to the wall because they didn't give a screw for fitting to a hollow wall. And it came down in the night, didn't it? <laughs> so I've got cassettes all over the friggin' floor. Um, so until I get another, well, a pack of bolts, I, well, just need to nip down the shop time. Get some of those bolts. No, no, that's not work. I need to get some of those springy bolts. And I can fix the bugger to the wall then, can't I? Right, how long has that been? Oops, kick the camera. Don't kick the camera. Four and a half minutes and we're starting again. Marvellous. Let's try side B. You don't get games coming. Digital downloads don't come with a side B, do they? No, I don't know what I'm saying either. But yeah, the um, shelves, I think I don't know. Because it's such a 
clunky mess and doesn't quite fit the gap that I've got it in there. It just doesn't doesn't seem right, but it could just be because it's at that halfway stage, you know, when you start trying to tidy up and you have to take things out to put other things away and it just looks like you're making more mess. Maybe I'm just at that stage, I don't know. Just not sure about it. But it's a it'll do measure. I'd love to have a oh this is I'd love to have a game that loaded. Mm. That does not look promising, but at least it stopped early to tell me. Um I think I'm gonna have to try one of my other tape drives with this one, aren't I? Oh I can't be bothered. I think this one will go in the load fail pile for me to come back to another time, and I will just try another one of the games that I got recently, that I've never played before. Which is probably a stupid thing, because I want some fun as opposed to some bewilderment. Mm, I don't know what to play, I don't know what to play. Make, give me suggestions, people. Of course, that does mean me telling you all the games that I've got, doesn't it? And I've not actually taken any photos of that sort of stuff. Hmm. Well, make some suggestions. <laughs> anyway, I can always see what I've got. I don't have every game. I never will. I don't think anyone... Could you, could you ever have every Commodore 64 game? I mean, without being a billionaire, we'd shed loads of room. Um, I mean, there's plenty of games you wouldn't want. But, anyway, I have a selection. Give us a shout. See if, if uh, there's anything that I've got that might want to load. Ah! I think I know what I'm going to try. I'll see you on the next one, maybe. Thanks for watching.